Hi there, everybody. This is Austin at the Best I Can Afford Antiques Channel. Um, I got a new Kutani plate. Kutani is a Japanese ceramics... Um, uh, it's like a place in Japan. So it's just marked from the place it's from. It's the Nine Valleys region of Japan. Um, so I thought we'd talk about these interestingly related items. So on the right-hand side, we have Kutani wares from Japan, marked as such. Um... Maybe, maybe not? No, it's marked somewhere. I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Well, it is Kutani, whether it's marked or not. It's uh, Meiji era Kutani. Uh, this is a very familiar um, painting style. They're known for their excellent artwork and, I mean, really attention to detail. Especially the bordering and stuff like that. <clears throat> you can find some pieces with some really intensely detailed bordering and such. So you'll notice really neat stylized painting of birds and, and flowers and their, uh, their colors typically include some iron oxide red and or I mean some iron red and uh, some uh, gold highlights and that'll be like 24 karat gold um, decoration. So yeah, I mean they're known for their really neat uh, birds and stuff. Bird. <laughs> Sorry, Bambi. Anybody watch Bambi lately? Is that is that is that Bambi? So they're very good uh, decorators of ceramic wares. So to the left here, we've got something called Totai Shippo, and that is cloisonné on ceramic. I believe Japan is pretty much the only place to do stuff like that. Now this is signed. If I can get it there. Uh, made in Great Japan and by Toshiro. Now, the little piece we've got sitting right next to that says basically the same thing, I do believe. I wonder if we'll be able to fit them side by side. It's a high stress situation. Oh my word. Okay, we're not going to be able to do that. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Do you see all the waves and stuff? Do you see like how the how the work is actually done? It's still cloisonné. It's just on a piece of ceramic and this is called tree bark uh totai shippo. So, let's look at the signature on this piece. So this piece is neat because it's not only related to Kutani but to Toshiro, I believe. So here we've got a Toshiro mark. And Toshiro was a studio, I think, in uh, Yokohama at least, but I think they had several locations. So same signature as the piece on the left, or the same mark, so the same like studio mark, and then the same type of art as the piece on the right. So Toshiro would hire Kutani artists to decorate their um their wares so this is also kutani we're going to look at it right right next to its brother here for a second and i'm sure you're already seeing similarities so pretty easy to judge that it's kutani so let's look at this a bit because it's a beautiful plate Let's look at a little bit of detail here. Can you see their gold uh, enamel runs through like even their flowers and stuff? Excellent bordering. This one in black and gold, which is a little bit odd, but uh, definitely still in their vein. Come on, birds. Birds. Pretty soon we'll have a new camera and this will this will all be a distant horrible memory. You know what? Being a real jerk about that. Okay, so coming back to it with my camera now focused for no good reason. Uh yeah, you see his tiny little birds here. So we've got some uh, sparrows. We've got likely Mount Fujiyama in the background. 
A lot of Japanese art, you'll notice there's one mountain in the background, so that's typically Mount Fuji. So one mountain in the background, Japanese. Bunch of mountains in the background, <laughs> somebody else. Look at the fish. I think this is a very uh, pretty unique piece in its decoration because it's not usually fish on Kutani pieces. It's usually birds and flowers. So to have these uh, several fish laying next to the riverbank in, you know, open evidence that somebody was fishing right there, I think that's a very neat touch. And if you look at these uh, reeds by the river, they're actually done in enamel. And you can kind of see... In fact, you can kind of see all that, can't you? Isn't that beautiful? Never really, uh... Never really thought of dead fish as art, but but this plate's pretty special. I like that quite a bit. Let me see if we can't give ourselves a little bit of room here. And isn't that a very cool thing? And yeah, that's at least, uh, probably at least 100 years old. More like uh, 120, somewhere in there. 100, and, 100 to 120, I'm going to say. Just a beautiful scene. I love stuff like this. So yeah, this is Austin at the Best Second 40 Antiques channel. Hopefully always showing you something neat, something to remember, something to look for. <clears throat> I got this for $10, and I imagine it's worth anywhere from, I don't know, $80 to $120, I imagine. I mean, just for a little plate, that's pretty impressive. I think it's not even a 12-inch plate. It's more like a 8.5 inch or something like that. Don't ask why I added the half. I don't I don't want to talk about it. This is Austin, the best I can afford antiques channel. I'd appreciate you liking, hitting that little thumbs up button down there, as long as you actually liked it. You know, that's my stipulation. Don't don't hit that thumbs up button if you didn't actually thumbs up. 